Happy Monday, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Today we're going to be in 1 Corinthians 12. And let me just ask you this. What's hurting today? Come on, you know, do you, do you have a sore back? Is your leg hurting or your foot when you're walking on it? It seems like uh, everyone I look, I see someone in a walking boot nowadays, which is a whole lot better than uh, being on crutches and a cast. Uh, maybe you've got an earache or a toothache. Oh, those are awful. Or maybe just a migraine. Uh, or, or maybe your arthritis is hurting your hands. You see, you hurt because part of your body hurts. And, and since your body is connected to you, then you hurt because you have an area or a part of your body that hurts. You know, the same is true of us as Christians. Listen to what the Apostle Paul says to the church in Corinth. Starts off in verses 12 and 13, and then I'm going to look down at verse 27. He says, For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. For in one spirit we are all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and all were made to drink of the one spirit. Now, verse 27, now you are the body of Christ and individually members of it. So if you confess Jesus as Lord, God the Holy Spirit enters your life. And when he enters your life, he, he transforms you. He moves you from dead spiritually to alive spiritually. He forgives your sins. He seals you for heaven. And, uh, and he unites you with everyone else who is a follower of Jesus. We are all one body. We're unified in Christ. And so we share the joys and the sorrows. We share the pains and the hurts. So if one hurts, we all hurt. If one celebrates, we all celebrate. If one grieves, we all grieve. And we are called as the body of Christ to work together for the mission of Christ. Of course, we believe that mission here at Calvary is to lead people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus. Now, since we're supposed to work together as a body, let me ask you a question. If your body doesn't work together, what does that make you? If you've got parts of your body that don't function at all, you are considered dis. Abled. I know in this politically correct world that may not be appropriate language anymore, but it means that you're not fully functioning as you were intended to function. So that's a disability. So here's the thing. We value and care for the whole body as our bodies, but also as the body of Christ. And I believe that Jesus is brokenhearted over the disunity in his body. The fact that Christians are, are fighting with each other, that Christians are, are name-calling towards each other, that, that we're denigrating one another and we blame Jesus for the things that we say to each other that are, that are not kind, that are not nice, that, that quite honestly create a spectacle for the world that when they look at us, they don't see anything resembling the love of our Savior. And, and I believe that's one of the reasons that the church in the United States of America today is so powerless to change our culture because we're too busy being disabled as the body of Christ. So if we want the world, to, the world to know Jesus, if we want our family and our friends to know our Savior and His life-changing power, then let's treat each other like we're part of the same body. Let's, let's demonstrate respect for one another. After all, love is patient and love is kind, and Jesus said by this all men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. And let's work together. Let's put our preferences and our pet peeves aside and let's actually join hands in this task of leading people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus. And, and honestly, let's rejoice together. Let's celebrate when one part of the body celebrates. Let's weep together. When one part of the body is brokenhearted, let's grieve with them. After all, what Jesus wants is more important than what you want or what I want. It's his mission and we are his body. What do you say we live like it? I hope that blesses you and I'm praying that God will bless you today.